and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mage Seeker luck. Starting off our Rank Up Sunday stream today, we got four very good decks. Um, Mage Seeker Lux, Draven Control, a brand new one that we're going to be trying out, and two uh, like Bannerman Zed that we just played a couple of days ago. The, de the deck felt really good. We're going to run that back here on Rank Up Sunday. And Karma Thresh Control, a deck we've played a couple of times, but again, a deck that is very strong. So that's what Rank Up Sunday is about. We're playing some of our best decks. This Mage Seeker Luck deck, we played it uh, on Thursday, the first day, or Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, the first day that um, the new patch uh, came down with these Mage Seekers. Last time I played the one mana Mage Seeker card, uh, Mage Seeker Conservator. And I'm going to instead change that with Mage Seeker Investigator, where we can create detains uh, with this card later on. The main goal of our deck is we want we're, we want to take turn one and turn two off, and then turn three, we want to use our six mana that we have acquired the first couple of turns and play either Remembrance or Unlicensed Innovation. Either way, we get we get a large creature, you know, like a 5-5 five five mostly, maybe a 5-4, uh, but we get a large creature, and then it turns on all of the other Mage Seeker cards, because then we've ca cast a 6-plus spell. Um, and so then, then then we'll have Mage Seeker Persuader, Investigator, Insider all turned on. So that's that's like what we're trying to do here with this deck. And then we have a really powerful late game with Heimerdinger and Lux, and just trying to win the those late games. All right, so that's our deck. We're going to be playing 10 matches over in rank today. We're going to be doing with all three of our decks. So we're starting at 331. Let's rank back up there. Let's try to get in the top 100. Let's see how we do. So we'll go ahead and... Getting started early. All right, we got Remembrance in hand. Perfect. Um... Their Karma Ezreal, I will just get rid of the Thermogenic Beam. That may be wrong getting rid of that, honestly. Maybe we just keep this all. We'll just keep it all. We need to be able to kill Ezreal and Karma. Those are two uh, units that we definitely need to be able to get rid of. What you looking for? Hmm. Well, we have to get rid of this also, because this would strike us and create a, you know, this would just get them card advantage. So it doesn't look like we don't get the turn three Remembrance, unfortunately. But also, my opponent doesn't get a bunch of free spells. Our hand's okay. It's not not spectacular. It's okay. It's good. I'm glad that did not get denied. So we have that resolved for our other cards. Let's see. Are you complicit? So I'm, even though the insider is, is a lot better, I'm playing this so that we have three mana still, so we'd still have barrier available, and we get to save the three mana. The question is whether or not I attack. Attacking, I get to do eight damage. 40% of their life total. And so that's that's a lot of damage. But if I don't attack, then they will likely be able to play Karma. Oh, wow. Wow. 8 mana, Thermogenic Beam. Wow. Yeah, I have for a while, Etria. Um, been playing Legends of Runeterra here instead. Um, and I 
I talked about why I like Legends of Runeterra more a few weeks ago. Really like this game. Think it's quite good. Yeah, I think this Mage Seeker deck is good. I do, yeah. I think it's... I mean, Lux and Heimerdinger are just both very powerful. Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. It's the very worst elite to hit. I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? I'll do what must be done. Okay. I was to be honest, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I was I was not expecting that to be honest. Alright, that's that was a surprise. All right, so this will allow Lux to transform. There you are, Heimerdinger. So many options. So many options. What do we want to do? I'll just cast this for now. Punish sorcery. And then I'm just going to play another Contraption, make another Final Spark. Fighting through these Yones. Fighting through them pretty well. Okay. History will judge you. It's fine with me. Plan is um, okay. Basically, I was gonna then shoot them, create another final spark, have the final spark kill their Yone. You know, basically put tons and tons of pressure on them and make them act. All right, so far so good. Rank up Sunday. So far, so good. 
Yeah, I'm gonna play some Draven Control. It's Draven, Draven with Ezreal. Um, it's gonna be my first time playing the deck, but I've played against it a couple of times, and it's looked impressive every time playing against it. And so, gonna try it out myself. Okay. Well, we're, we're not gonna count that. That was weird. I don't even know what happened there. But I don't think I should just be like, oh, hey, look how good our deck is. We're 2-0. Oh. oh, it was a mirror match. And they, didn't, I, guess, yeah, I guess maybe they didn't want a mirror match. <laughs> Duo poggers. Uh, let's see. We'll keep Remembrance and get rid of Get Excited. I'll... Flash of Brilliance is amazing if we have Heimerdinger. We don't have Heimerdinger right now. Hey, BJJ. Hope your Sunday's going good. You will act second. Ah, uh, I need that flash of brilliance back. So on, if we're playing one of these on turn three, it's better to play the unlicensed innovation. Oh, hello there. Because it's just always going to be a five-five. Like the remembrance, you know, can not only it can cost less at different times, but also just does some different stuff for us. How's this fair against Demacia mid-range? I would assume pretty good. I would assume we can go over the top of Demacia. Um, it does... Yeah, it, it's kind of going to be reliant on like Heimerdinger and Luxian, like our champions, our, our best cards. Uh, the better they are, the better our chances are going to be. Um... But I think this deck would be pretty good in that matchup. Not over overwhelmingly favored. Demacia is very good. I guess we'll just play this. I kind of want to play that, but I also kind of just want to pass. And then see what they do. And maybe just bank the mana. To be able to definitely have three mana with Heimerdinger. Wow, Feast. That's rude. I was counting on that 1-1 one, one block, or that 5-1 block and that 4-4. Four, four. Demacia is a region, yeah, underrated. Well, also, yeah, it's... One, Demacia is quite good, but then two, it's gotten better with some of these updates 
recently how other regions have received more nerfs than what Demacia has received. That was a good glimpse beyond. Sacrifice. Spiders going on over here. I will keep us safe. Well, I guess they're not really spiders. They don't have a lease, but they just got like these little spiders. So my plan is to spend my six mana with the Mage Seeker Insider and the Mage Seeker Persuader. Hey, Rex. Yeah, Demacia kind of has it all. That's true. Well, that was a good turn for them. That was definitely a good turn for them. That's good. Me going down to four. Hmm. If I play Heimerdinger next turn, I'll have an extra two mana. So I'll have eight, so I'll have ten mana. This dies, I cast this and this. Return to us. Root out magic. All right, so we get two remembrances. We really want to hit the lifelink creature with remembrance. Radiant Guardian is the name. Yeah. Wow. Just surrendered. Radiant Guardian too good. Too good. All right, rank up day going well so far. What's I should have two quests, right? I guess I didn't even check. What's this one? Win a game with Jinx and Rummage in your deck. I am not playing any decks with Jinx and Rummage. Let's deal 40 damage with Freljords or Ionia cards. Uh, Bannerman Zed has a lot of Ionia. No, it doesn't. Never mind, it has hardly any. Karma Thresh has a little bit of Ionia. That's still, that's a lot of... Hmm. Let's try again. It's only a thousand one anyway. I like trying to get the five thousand ones anyway. Ash and Winner's Breath in your deck? Hey, I don't have I don't have that either. 
All right, well, we're not doing that second one. Mage, Seeker, Lux. All right, so not doing the second one. Okay, just finished that quest against the AI. There you go. Yeah, I could, you know, build a deck with Winner's Breath and Ash. You know, I have an Ash deck. Just put, throw a Winner's Breath in it. Play against the AI real quick. Um, get excited. Just kills Fiora and kills Ash. So I feel like it's an important card to keep. Yeah, a diamond player that doesn't want to play Garen or Bannerman. Um, I mean, these other three decks that I'm playing today, besides Bannerman, I I mean, I like all three decks. I think they're all good. Um, maybe one of these are something you'd want to try out, like this Mage Seeker Lux or the Draven Control that we're about to play or the Karma Thresh Control. I've particularly had a lot of success with that Karma karma thresh control but it's not an easy one to play it's it's a tough one to play and the games are close but they would fall by my blade. hmm I think I'll just pass. All the world on one arrow. Uh yeah, I'll just pass. Yeah, Draven Control, it's a Draven and Ezreal. It's a deck I haven't played before, but I've played against a few times. And it's gonna be my, so it's gonna be my first time trying it. But it's looked really good every time I've tried it, or every time I've played against it. Here is the list. I was getting the list for you. What's up, Elvis? Elvis Superstar in the house. Let's go with Time Redinger. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this redouble valor. Wait, am I supposed to kill Fiora? Not Ash? Maybe I'm supposed to kill Fiora. Or at least try to kill Fiora. Protect house floor. I am groundbreaking invention today. <laughs> When I try to kill him at two mana, too scared of the plus two health buff. No, I, I didn't want to use, like, so the previous turn, I didn't want to use my mana because I wanted to be able to play Heimerdinger and then play the Flash of Brilliance and get excited and stuff after the Heimerdinger so we could get the free three ones. Don't determine themselves. I think I'm going to go Mystic Shot plus get excited this turn.
Uh, Karma. Karma is the finisher in the Karma Thresh list. Sorry, progress day. Yeah, out yeah, outlasting the opponent. Uh, there's a lot of life gain in the deck. So, yeah, you just out outlast the opponent and you get a lot of card advantage. And once you have a Karma in play, you know, all your spells are doubled. And then you draw a second Karma. And then the second Karma gets you four extra spells. Um... Are you kidding me? That is unreal. It, that is unreal. Yeah, that's just game. The time is right. Strike now. All right, looks like I need to kill Ash. Didn't realize they were gonna play a million spells. I didn't even see what I drew. I don't know if I drew a removal spell. I don't think I did, but that was that was unreal. All right, well, I mean, I didn't have to kill Fiora. I could have killed Ash instead of Fiora. I drew Thermo Beam. Yeah, so that was slow, slow speed. Wow, that was unreal. Triple Brittle Steel Frost Breath. Frostbite. No, Frost Breath. Yeah, I'm planning on playing the mages on buff here. Yep. Or at least... At least, maybe. I was considering it. Now we have this Remembrance. Problem is, this turn, I have, so I have like two mana I could spend. Or no, I can, so I can spend all three mana. So cool. So we can play Get Excited this turn, and then still next turn we'd have two extra mana. I don't really have the creature to get excited, though. There, there we go. All right, so if I cast... Static shock on these two. We don't have remembrance next turn, but we can play get excited, kill the Elise. So young. I still have rem remembrance this next turn. Just passed. That was the worst case scenario for me.
at least means that if you know they're gonna challenge her and kill my five one, they have to do it with the the two two. Hmm. It's problematic. With me going down to five. So this can take out Elise. Or I guess crowd favorite. I guess we really have to take out crowd favorite. The problem is if they have more spiders. Maybe I take out Elise and then do this to crowd favorites, or the other way around. Justice. You can see if they play this last card. Okay, they're not playing this last card. I'd like to play the Insider and just have the Insider block this, but I guess... Hmm... If I do that, then they play another spider, and then this spider challengers the insider, and they attack here. What's my play? I guess in combat, I static shock these two, and I go down to one. Magic has no place here. This is the this is our worst worst hit. This five four out of the three, the other two, you know, would have had enough toughness. This means we're dead to Mark of the Isles now. I I assume that we're dead with them making this all out attack like this. I assume that they that they do this because they have a trick that kills me. Yeah, well, that's that would have been really difficult to stay alive from. Those are two really good last cards to have. Large trample creature and brother's bond. So it didn't quite stabilize. Didn't quite stabilize. Of course, hoping we get to just turn three, play the innovation. But we have the thermogenic beam in case we have to use it, you know, like if they have something that we just have to play it. We can. But it looks like we could have a really good turn four. Let's 
Okay. Our next turn's gonna be awesome. Double Persuader. And our turn five is gonna be good also. Persuader Beam. happens the Yordle here is with me an ass people my life for the order all right I guess they're not gonna attack I I wanted like wanted like one of my creatures to die so this would turn into five mana so you could play five mana remembrance, but I should have just Yeah, it's like they're just not attacking. I should have just played that first and then I could have thermogenic beamed. Uh next. Let's kill that. So this game's looking good for us. We'll have a creature die, play Remembrance, see if we hit Radiant Guardian. Sure. Radiant Guardian? Why would they play that 2-1 right there? Why would they even cast that right then? Because it's just going to lose elusiveness. Figured it out. That's why they cast it right then. Figured it out. Will you comply? Or are you complicit? Walk softly, strike quickly. No challenger. Looking for this. All right, that five life gaining is yeah, gaining that five life is really nice. Extra hands never hurt. They'll never see me coming. Answers, I have them. Of course, we get we get an elusive blocker right now. 
Uh, for next turn, I still have the detain available. So obviously, we've been keeping this detain for this 5 4. These are dangerous lands. Okay. Keep your hands off my work. Well, that was pretty good. That that deny. Looking for this. It will be done. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. No, that's probably not that bad, right? Because this thing doesn't have elusive anymore. No cards in hand. Can't really imagine what they could draw. Turns out it's nothing. So all three of our wins have been pretty convincing. Both of our losses were ones that were really close to being wins that I wasn't really expecting to lose either one. different circumstances we did. Okay, we don't need all of these six mana spells. It's good to have, you know, we want a six mana spell, but we don't need a million of them. We'll probably just keep the one. The strongest deck is probably... Probably Bannerman Zed. Yeah, progress day is, it's just really expensive, and, um, and it's something like this. It's something you don't really want early on at all, and it's not really, I think just having one's fine. Like, in the games that, like, whenever, like, if you have the kind of late game where, you know, you need where you have a progress day and you cast it, you don't need to cast more. Like, once you cast your first progress day, that's usually good enough anyway. Draw three. Um, but it, it'll it just cost you a lot of games, like, against decks like this, like, where you're just sitting with pro Like, if you have multiple progress days in hand, it'll just cost you, because it's, it's not anything you're going to play until after you stabilize. And so... That's not a card that I want to invest heavily in, so it's not a card that I want more than more than just the one copy of. A symbol worth fighting for. Magic has no place here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can copy it with Karma. Um, it's yeah, you get to draw a whole lot of cards. So you hope hope you have basically nothing in hand. All right, this is what we call a perfect hand. Probably they're only one drop, and then War Chefs, Lucian, Double Bannerman. Perfect hand, GGS.
Burn away the shadows. The deck that I'm playing later on, the Karma Thresh Control, that's that's the that's the best Karma deck in my opinion. Well, that worked out pretty well for us. They didn't, you know, weren't able to just attack out. Okay. We are kind of stabilizing. Stabilizing-ish. Would it be good to attack with the 5-5? Five five? How would attacking with the 5-5 five five be bad? Mages are everywhere. Oh, uh, don't you worry about me. Soldiers to me. For justice and all things bright. It's going to be a difficult turn to survive. In the name of our land. I, mean, I guess these are all lethal attackers. We have to block three and then detain another. There's not... Let's see. So whatever I detain, they get back. Because my creature is going to die. Investigating. Uh, which one's the most fun, most, uh, most fun to play? It's probably subjective. You know, it's pretty subjective. You know, I'm sure different people would have different answers for that. For myself, I probably enjoy playing the... Uh... Yeah, that was just, just such an amazing hand my opponent just had there. Well, this is the perfect... I probably enjoy um, the Bannerman Zed, I think. I really like the Demacia stuff. Um, it's real strong, fast game, stuff like that. I would not put Hapless Aristocrat in the Karma Thresh list to, to improve control matchup, no. I don't think Hapless Aristocrat improves control matchup at all. I think that control decks can very easily ignore a 1-1 and don't have to worry about it. and, and um, and it's not one ones don't kill control decks. I think that that would make the control matchup worse putting in hapless aristocrat. Um, Luxheimer versus Lux Karma. Any thoughts on which one has on which one has which strength? Um, I feel like the best way to really utilize Karma is with Shadow Isles. And so playing Lux Karma, I think is worse than Karma Shadow Isles. So I feel like you're playing a worse Karma deck. The, like the Shadow Isles cards, like Withering Whale, Grasp the Undying, all that kind of stuff. Um, even Rekindler to bring back Karma. I feel like those are that's really where you get the best stuff with Karma. Yuck. Feed Demacia. 
yeah, Karma. I mean, Karma Ezreal, Karma Lux. Those are those are certainly reasonable decks, and they're they're. It's not like I'm saying that they are, those are bad decks. They're just fine, but it's not. It's not the best way to use Karma, in my opinion. But it's it's not like Karma like those. Those are still, like, Karma's still very powerful, Lux, Ezreal, those are, are both very powerful also. I don't really have anything else against those. Progress Day is just too expensive, that's why we just have the one of them. Everything I've worked for. I, I mean, like, I wanted to discard the... I want to discard the Static Shock, something like, when am I going to cast the Static Shock? But it's kind of difficult to discard that, honestly. The balance requires a static Shock can break up some barrier stuff. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. Eminently logical. Enforced equilibrium. So I haven't cast a six mana spell yet. I want the five four swift wing lancer. Swift wing lancer. Let's go. No, denied. Shoot, shoot! That was years in the making. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. That's the card I wanted. It must be done. Protect and really? They are under my protection. You need to give the five four the barrier. That's the best use of that. You just don't want to give like one of these three twos a barrier. Yeah, basically, yeah. Karma, Ezreal, Lux, Heimerdinger, the, yeah. You can put any one of those four spell champions together. Like, any two of those, you can put them together and have a pretty reasonable deck with that. Hmm... On 
doesn't seem like a great idea. It's too late. You're messing around with the Karma Braum deck, okay. I had one more mana, I could cast that, but I guess I, I guess I wouldn't be able to cast that before combat anyway. Hey, what's up? No more games. Thanks for the host. Welcome, y'all. Wait, where'd it go? There we go. All right, let's cast this Flash of Brilliance, which will flip Lux. We got a Judgment? Huh. I can't just cast a Judgment and turn these things on. So Judgment plus Detain would be 13 mana. So that means I can only spend 9 mana this, this turn. Uh, yeah, I guess because Shen, whenever an ally gets barrier, gets plus, give it plus three, plus zero this round. So playing formation gave them three barriers, and then attacking with formation gave them another three barriers. Magic corrupts the mafia from within. Your demacia is nothing like what I know. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. Investigating. All right, there goes the barriers. Final spark, trigger all these things, get it detained. shall prevail. 
I'm a little surprised they played a unit because I had the final spark, but I guess if, if that's all they have are basically units in hand, they can just kind of flood the board now with some more and play just whichever one they want me to use the final spark on first. I get to do this because playing that, you know, generates a final spark for us to be able to use. All right, we're four and three. Ooh, close to this epic wild card. Getting pretty close. Yeah, that judgment worked out perfectly. I was honestly surprised it worked out so well. I thought, you know, I was expecting like a, a bounce spell to, to blow us out or a deny. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting it to work that well. Yeah, I haven't played Karma Lux in a long time. The last time I played Karma Lux together didn't go so well. Um, it's been a while, but I mean, it's it's definitely reasonable to put those two together. Um, we were kind of talking about that earlier, P playing uh, Karma, Ezreal, Lux, Heimerdinger, those four, you can put any combination of any of them together and, and have a pretty decent deck. But as far as Karma goes, I don't like Karma with any of the others. I feel like Karma is at, its, at her best in a... Um, in a Shadow Isles deck. Run while you can. Karma being paired with uh, Rekindler, but really Withering Whale, Grasp the Undying, getting all the extra life gains just where Karma shines. But Karma's obviously just a good card, it's a good, good anywhere. I would like them to go straight to combat. That would be ideal. Yeah. Because we can just take that, and now I just don't have to play anything. And so now that we don't have to do play anything, we can just save. We can bake this mana for next turn so that we can play Heimerdinger and start getting stuff. So yeah, I'm glad they didn't just play all that stuff first. Oh, I have six mana next turn. Basically, we want to make another floor be gone. But yeah, this this was a really nice flash again. Man, another vision? Wow. I'm just dead. They had the two visions. Wow. Yeah. Just barely lethal. It's a couple of those games like this. So far, three of our four losses were super close like that, like where we were basically just about to stabilize and or you know, things like where they had just 
perfect cards. Yeah, I think that was perfect. Um, wow. Well. Our decks felt a lot better than than four and four because like we're either like winning by a lot or like we barely lose. But that's kind of control decks in general. Of course, ideally, we want turn three, five, five. Ideally, and then turn four, we can have double Mystic Shots. Triple one drop. Uh, I guess we still. I think we still act as according to plan. I don't know. We'll see if I regret not not mystic shotting this thing and taking the three. Just to get this five five in play. Stag Shock's a good draw. I already, you know, if I, if I would have Mystic Shot last turn and killed this, then I would have had four mana that turn instead of six, then I would have been able to Static Shock. And so it actually would have, drawing the Static Shock made my play worse because we could have been at 16 with them having three things dead. But now we're at 12, and then this thing gets down to 11. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Probably dead now. I'll try anyone. I highly doubt I'll be able to survive from here. All right, well, it ended up waiting till turn three to play that 5-5. Five five. Ended up being too slow, and we drew, like, the static shocks that really punished me for doing that. These have been some good hands, though, that we've been playing against. Like, does it get better? Like, some of these hands are just... Like, the absolute best you can have. You know, triple one drop, and then one drop, double one drop, 
and then that really good two. Um, and then, you know, like the combat trick. Double burn spell finish you off. With this playing a slower deck like this, we are vulnerable to the best starts that opponents can have. That's been the case here. I'm not sure about Static Shock. If, like, Static Shock's going to actually kill stuff. Could have got rid of that instead of Lux. But obviously I'm going to keep Heimerdinger and all the Flash of Brilliances, because that's my turn 5 plan. Wow, well, it worked out keeping Static Shock. Hey Storm, good evening. Without a sound. How's the island? The island going good. Um, that was fun yesterday. That was fun. Yeah, compared to the, the fastest decks, yeah, first play turn three is certainly slow. There's no... There's no getting around that. That's why the... The best starts of these aggro decks can put together will... Entropy. Run you over. My shield is yours. Groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> That's how it is. Round and round and round. <laughs> the way the Animal Crossing looks tidier than your actual living place. <laughs> Definitely the yard. Definitely the yard. A lot less weeds. <laughs> you don't want to see my desk, and I've been home for two weeks now. I don't have any excuses. <laughs> Yeah, my my clothes are starting to get to be a little much. Hmm. Need to do some need to do some laundry. <laughs> yeah, you you finally know that that button. My most groundbreaking Inter uh, invention. And it's basically going to be about about judgment. Still puts me down to two. Progress. 
Maybe we actually stabilize this time. They don't... They don't have that, like, one extra card that kills us. We actually won! Yay! All right, so we finished five and five with Mage Seeker Lux, even though the, the deck really did feel better than that. Um, you know, yeah, it, it really did feel better than, than five and five. Um, we had some pretty crazy losses. I don't know if there's anything I'd really change too much about it. Uh, maybe trim like a Mage Seeker Investigator and or a Mage Seeker Insider. Um, but I don't really have any, any card that I necessarily want to play instead. I don't think I'd want like a Purify or anything. Yeah, basically liked how it felt. Um, we did play against a ton of aggressive decks, so like Progress Day looked like a, a card that's way too slow that, that I would think about taking out, but like I said, we did play against a lot of aggressive decks. I could see just playing like two Lux, the back-to-back -back could maybe go. Um, you know, it could you, you could make the deck better against aggro uh, here and there, but you know, you're not always going to play against aggro like we did today like you are going to play against some control as well yeah i i ended up taking out the one mana mage seeker because it it's um i which if you are just going to keep playing against those kind of decks maybe put it back in but it, it really did have like some tension to the the best starts having turn three remembrance or unlicensed innovation and, and turning on your other stuff where you can't do that if you play a turn one or turn two mage seeker so there was there's some tension between that. Um uh, so I ended up taking out the Mage Seeker. Um like this one, the Conservator. I replaced it with the Investigator. We didn't have the Investigator last time. But I wanted to have the detains. Get some free detains. But there there is some tension there. Um, but it's a, it's, you know, it's a one mana blocker for aggro decks. So it's not, not bad against aggro. I don't really want it against control. They can ignore it for the most part. You can really ignore a one, one, um, but against aggro, I like it. So if the metagame is aggressive and you're struggling a little bit. You can play that instead of like the investigator. Yeah, yeah, and and you can, yep, and you can, uh, y yeah, you. That's true. You do have the mulligan decisions with it, so yeah, you can you can definitely add it back in, instead of investigator, or maybe instead of like one one of the back, you know, since it gives you six plus cost spells, you could like take out like the back to back, or progress day, take out like one of those and like two investigators and keep in one of these, be able to have it detain and play these. That's definitely reasonable. You know, going like those three and take out like the two and the one. Absolutely reasonable to do that. All right, we got some other sweet control decks to get to today. So there we go. There's Mage Seeker Lux. Y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck if you're trying it yourself. Uh, if you're having fun playing the Mage Seekers with anything else, like we played the Mage Seeker Thresh deck uh a few days ago that one that one was fun um yeah let me know how it's going with these extra mage seekers all right but thanks for watching some mage seeker lux and i'll see you for the next video